This is your reminder to go to 53supply.com and enter to win my super rare 1994 one of 200 STI hatchback. We at 53 Supply not only provide you guys with awesome clothes with cool designs and cool car giveaways, but we also donate 10% of our proceeds to helping those in need that struggle with mental health. We've always done that and we always will. Just know, whenever you're entering into this giveaway, you're not only entering in for a chance to win an awesome car and get awesome clothes, you might potentially be saving somebody's life. Just to let you guys know, make sure you guys go to 53supply.com. Every $1 you spend right now grants you one chance to win through this STI. Now, let's get on to the video. This is what happens when you order a body kit off of Wish. I'm just kidding. This is KBD. These body kits are allegedly Indestructible. Babe, will you film for me real quick? Gosh, yeah. What are you doing? And I'm like, don't hit the AMG like you would. <laughs> so these are, this is a KBD body kit for my S13. And uh, I had, so I had KBD on my SC300. I've known the owner, Irving, for a long time and uh, I really wanted to hop on the opportunity to uh, some cool kit on this car. But since I bought this thing, this thing as a seat time car, I didn't want to spend thousands on an origin kit that I knew I would probably get torn apart as I'm refreshing myself on how to drift again. All you gotta do is actually, it's actually really simple. All you gotta do is take it out, put it in the sun. It should uh, go right to shape. I like these kits because they fit really well, easy to install, and again, they just don't, they don't break. So we've been working on a few kinks with this car. It has a slight boost issue. Um, now, it looks like everything is aftermarket, and so I don't know if this is a kit from like, I, mean, I, I think like maybe CX, uh, somebody makes a kit for this. I don't know if this is a kit or not, but uh, it's all, it seems like it's all good. Maybe one of these is bad, but uh, the AFRs at idle are super lean. It also is super weird because it's an internally gated turbo, but they have a screen pipe for it when it could all just come out the exhaust. So I don't know, that's kind of weird. We might end up changing that, but got the front bumper off because I was chasing that. I didn't, this front bumper just didn't fit well at all and it was all bent and nasty. So far the motor seems healthy. I actually got this car on a lift the other day and saw that it has a really unique turbo on it. It's a Garrett turbo. I don't know if I took a picture of it, but it's got an AR of 80, but it's still a T28, which as far as my research went, that doesn't exist or never was an OEM turbo even for the S15s. Super interested to know and learn more about that. Aside from some of the other kinks, so the car has a bunch of Gretti gauges. And so I was having Zach, say hi Zach. Hey. I was having Zach kind of like look at all this stuff. You can see that like some of these gauges work. Like this one, the fuel pressure instantly started working. I had three and a half bars right there. The boost gauge works, but you're saying Zach that they kind of all go to the right. Yeah, they all kind of peg right once you turn the ignition off. But this one, gets stuck. Yeah. So like, I turn it on real quick. This one gets stuck there, so I don't have water temp. But everything else works. Oil pressure works. I've got about four bars there. Uh, fuel pressure's good, turbo's good. But yeah, this one, even if I smack the crap out of it, it won't work. Woo! <laughs> so uh, anyways, the Gauges, everything's, everything works except for the temp gauge, which is interesting, but you ended up jumping it. It worked one time and it doesn't work anymore. So which kind of- Intermittent there. And then RPMs don't work as well. Yeah, chasing that down right now. Yeah, I also thought that because this thing was, and it might just be because the SR, stock SRs, stock turbo SRs, <laughs> feel that slow to me. I kind of thought that there was an issue there, but I'm getting a link ECU for it and we'll end up, we'll end up tuning the car to have a real dyno tune on it. If you're gonna be bouncing off the revolimeter, it's better to just not have whatever, like what, it's just on stock ECU right now. So I don't even think there's a fuel pressure regulator. It looks like it's on, yeah, it's on stock fuel everything. So probably gotta, probably gotta fix that. 
Before we continue on with this video, I want to give a huge thank you to our one of the channel's biggest supporters, and that's Helix Sleep. We've been working with Helix Sleep for quite some time, and we've been sleeping on our Moonlight Lux, our Helix Moonlight Lux, for almost two years now. It's an incredible mattress. Victoria and I have absolutely loved it. And you know what? What really is awesome about Helix Sleep? Their mattresses are custom tailored for you. If you use the link that I have for you in my description, they will ask you a few questions based on how you sleep at night. Um, you know, if you're stomach sleeper, side sleeper upside down sleeper, under the bed sleeper, whatever. But based on that quiz, they will give you guys a recommendation. It's worth for us, we love ours. What's also amazing is not only do you not have to talk to a pushy salesman, they ship straight to your door for free if you're in the US. They also have a 10 year warranty and a 100 night sleep trial. So you're not gonna, it's not gonna, you're not gonna wanna send it back. But I can say if you go to the $200, you get two free pillows. If you guys go to the link that I've got for you in the description, we love Helix Sleep, we're so thankful for them and uh, we love our mattress. You guys go check them out. Thank you for sponsoring and let's get on to the video. Insane. Just ran over these like 10 minutes ago and they're ready to go on the car. Look at this. <laughs> I'm really stoked to get this body kit on for several reasons. I've always loved the BN style kits on every car, BNs in specific. I just like BN. This is my favorite body kit, not only because it is a BN replica, a BN style, but I do love the KBD stuff. It's really, really good. It fits well and uh, it doesn't break. As you guys saw me run over with a freaking truck in the beginning. I also just, I love this car. I love this car already and it's beat to hell and that's okay. I'll probably end up getting origin fenders for this thing eventually, but I like to focus less on the build and just more focus on getting the car ready to actually drive. And it's pretty close, it's like right there. But in the meantime, I was like, you know what, I might as well at least get my favorite kit for the car and uh, get this on today and go out and have some fun, drive it a little bit. If you guys can see, I kinda, I was doing some, I was doing some drifting in my, my driveway and I got off, off the road a little bit. As you guys can see, the fenders were rolled super poorly. Not a huge fan of how they did this. Uh, I also do, uh, I've driven this car a little bit now and I've noticed that under left foot braking, my front end completely washes out. So it basically just means I need to get nicer front tires because these actually look like, I literally like I barely tap the front brakes and I just start sliding. So one caveat here is going to be this little, this little guy right here. I might have to get under the car and like saws all this off. I don't even know why they did a wastegate dump on this because it's got an internally gated turbo. I don't know, so kind of silly. But let's go ahead and start getting my favorite kit on one of my bucket list cars. So it's looking good so far, but the ding nuts who built this car, which what other, what other place could they have put it? I don't know, but they put the battery literally right in front of, right on top of where the bumper ties into the chassis. And in order to get this, this out, I have to lower the gas tank. It's literally like, I can't, anyway. So went ahead and just cut an accessibility hole in here right under the battery. So now I can get the rear bumper off and get it going. It's looking really good though. <laughs> because this car is so banged up, dinged up, the fenders like don't fit. The fenders are pretty bad, especially this one, but it's okay. Again, this is a seat time car. But don't hate me whenever I wrap it, make it look cool. Cause I, you know, I like the aesthetics, but like you can look cool while learning again. I always loved the way the 240s looked with uh, with no bumper. 240s with no bumper, I always thought it looked so cool. I think it looks so dope. But 
I'm not gonna do that. I do need to get a bash bar eventually. I am gonna take away this super stupid heavy thing right here. My driving as I'm progressing right now is mostly gonna be solo, not tandems, but like I shouldn't have any actual rear end collisions. If it's Anyways, I'm just gonna put this bumper on as is, use OG hardware, and then uh, I gotta get it somehow tied up uh, to here. Oh God, oh, I was, I did be, I did be doing something there. And then just get it tapped into the bumper. <laughs> That's a horrible weld! Look at that! Gross! There we go! Nice! So I've got the kit on. This is the body kit that I've always loved. Right now it looks kind of bunk. Um, so I guess the main thing really right now is because <laughs> the fender uh, this again this is like this is a seat time car. I don't really it's a, it's kind of a it's kind of a junker junker bucket but like until i get like over fenders or like different fenders the the side skirts are not going to fit right i ended up i know people hate these but because of the way the fenders are that these fenders are so bad i can't actually connect <laughs> these things have been uh these things have been absolutely rocked and so like this thing does not want to fit correctly so i went ahead and used these little guys right there just to keep them up especially since i'm going to be loading it up on the trailer and stuff you know when you look at it my the, the rule especially for 240s guys 50 50 rule right if it looks good going 50 miles an hour 50 feet away then it looks fine you guys get to see things under a microscope here 50 50 rule is <laughs> this car is fire i actually kevin susie uh he makes these like fender brackets for s13s and that actually helped this out a ton because the front fenders like to like flop around and go in on these cars and he makes a really good bracket for them. Big thanks to him, but I love this kit. This has always been my favorite look for the S13s, especially, I mean, I love the pop-ups. Pop-up S13 front has been my favorite and I always have loved the coupe. I just, I love this car so much. Uh, the kit's not completely on right now. I'm just kind of waiting. We're about to drop, I'm actually literally about to drop it off uh, for a wrap. I'm about to load it up right now. So we're about to get this thing wrapped. And then uh, once it's all one color, I can go hit a wall and then uh, destroy the wrap, I guess. I just tested out the Kendas that were on it they're uh, pretty old i feel but they uh, definitely took a little bit of a beating so i'm pretty excited about that i've also got some some wheels coming i wanted to make sure that i had some extras for the track just in case i hit a wall broke a wheel something like that so i've got some stuff coming from heritage wheels so i'm pretty excited about that the soonest event i think i can enter is the beginning of october um so i'm gonna try and get seat time as soon as possible but the thing that kind of stinks around here is like i don't have a two million dollar facility to go practice my seat time every day um and i don't have a facility local so the, the closest thing to me i can go drift at is like three four hours away and so um i'm trying to make sure i can align my schedule so i can go out and do that because if i don't do that then it's like another 30 days of driving i can't do really wish dallas had some more drifting whether it was like whether it's like street stuff closed away not in the freaking on the middle of the street where you could hurt people but i really wish that we had a little bit more of a drifting scene here in dallas no, it's a scene i know we have a scene but we don't have places to go and drift i wish we had like a warehouse or somebody had just some kind of lot but i love this kit once we get the car back from wrap um, i'm gonna have austin redo my exhaust and make it kind of poke out a little bit more so you can actually see the exhaust because right now it's probably gonna burn the hell out of the bumper look at that dude uh, and this car actually sounds really good i just did a nice like I said, I just did a nice burnout and it's not too loud. It's not gonna piss off the neighbors. Well, I don't know that. Maybe, they, maybe they're maybe they still mad. Once I get the wrap done, I also have a bash bar for the front that we're gonna end up installing just so I don't uh, uh, bend my frame. <laughs> That sort of thing but i think um a lot of the the drifting is going to come back to me as soon as i start getting back into the seat i started getting pretty decent towards the end of it but my anxiety was really getting the best of me and i really just didn't want to go out and drive it was really hard for me so i'm thinking that uh, it might I'm, I'm really hoping it's fun this time around and um we can not only build a cool car but have a good time that's kind of my goal for this year you know getting back into the seat getting back into the driver's seat and actually uh, conquering the anxiety inducing things that I used to have. Super amped on this. I am excited to get going on the wrap and excited to see how much I can beat this kit up. It did well on my SC300, so 
I'm thinking we're gonna be okay on this. This uh, month that I took off has been amazing for me in so many different ways. Like I've been filming so many things completely out of order. Like Austin's in there working on a car you don't even know about right now. And uh, also working on my all wheel drive Civic. Um, it's been amazing, so I've just been filming so much stuff. But I recently, during the month I took off, it was my birthday, and I actually am gonna take some life advice from the Instagram post that I posted. I got a bunch of stuff to say there. If you guys want some really good advice, I'm 28 this year, and uh, this post right here, you guys can read a bunch of my top things that I've learned so far in life. I'm just gonna go through probably the next few videos and just read down the list. But the first thing I wrote is there is no rush. There's no rush. And if you guys are new, I give you guys life advice at the end of every video, because you know, cars are cool, but you guys need uh, help living. There's no rush. I'll just read it verbatim. Every person reaches success at different points in their life than others. Don't compare your progress to others as your story is different. It's hard because like a lot of people will look at me and be like, well, you know, I'm I'm 28, nowhere near as blah, blah, blah as you. Uh, and then I can, you know, I can look at somebody else and be like, well, I'm their age or they're younger than me. And you know, there's, there's TikTok stars that are 22, 23, 24 years old that are millionaires. That doesn't mean because you're 35, you're a failure. You know what I mean? You, that just means your time hasn't come yet. I mean, everybody's story is different. And the point to which you achieve your goals it's always gonna be different from somebody else. And you know, yeah, it kind of sucks to see somebody feel, like live out your dream and achieve your goals before you. But at the end of the day, you gotta just suck it up and realize that like, it just is life. It just is what it is. You know, something I've said before is the only guaranteed way you won't make it to your goals is by quitting. So don't quit and uh, don't rush. Enjoy your life in the stage that it's in and um, you'll, you'll get there as long as you're working heads down, you'll get there. You guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I just smacked the crap out of this camera. I just broke it, sheesh. Um, hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch and it helps me a ton if you do continue watching them. Click on one of them, click on both of them, put my videos on background. I don't know, it just helps me a bunch, but uh, I love you, Mwah. bye.